If you were a computer programmer like Bill here, you could write great computer software just using inexpensive computers and your own skill. Your work and your business are protected automatically by copyright, with no need to register or pay a fee. All of which creates competition, innovation, and more choice at less cost for consumers. Except that is, if any part of your original work runs into a software patent. Software patents are landmines for programmers, says Richard Stallman, the famed free software campaigner. At any point during development, you can step on a patent and destroy your product and business. A patent grants an exclusive monopoly, not on specific work, but on a single idea for 20 years. 20 years ago, Microsoft Windows, Apple Macs, and free and open source software were only just beginning, and they didn't need software patents then. It will cost you 50,000 euros just to get a single patent in Europe, and millions to challenge or fight a single patent claim in court. And, unlike copyright, registering and managing patents requires expensive and complex searches. Mega corporations cross license with each other to get access to their monopolies and avoid the threat of expensive litigation, leaving everyone else out of the picture. A patent holder can do nothing but sell the world, making claims that people infringe on their patents. Because licensing and cross-licensing will be cheaper than going to court, no matter how baseless the claim, now people think they need patents just to survive the threat of legal action. As a programmer, Bill is writing down a series of instructions and giving that to a computer to do. Much like a business method or a game or any other abstract idea that needs rules, it's instructing, not inventing. Bill could be working with lots of people from all over the world on big projects like GNU Linux. Some large corporations want to use software patents to threaten these projects and smaller competitors. That's what a lot of people in the computer industry think. Patenting software is supposed to reward and promote innovation for the benefit of creators, businesses and consumers. In reality, it excludes small players, stifles innovation and competition and turn software publishing into the privilege of a few. If people had understood how patents would be granted when most of today's ideas were invented and had taken out patents, the industry would be at a standstill today. That's what Bill Gates said in 1991. And this is where we're heading if we allow software patents. If people had understood how patents would be granted when most of today's ideas were invented and had taken out patents, the industry would be at a standstill today. Bill Gates, 1991. And this is where we're heading if we allow software patents. <laughs>